These are the dreams of a witch unknown. I see a young boy, fair of hair and skin, toddles and plays happily in the garden. Laughing, he runs through the garden, up and down, here and there, smiling with a true gleam in his eyes. He runs into the trees. He returns. He is taller, older, his hair darker, his skin less fair. Still, he has the same gleam in his eyes. He waves and runs with his arms outstretched around and around. He stops suddenly. With his back toward me, he takes a step away. He bows to nothing I can see. He turns again and faces me. He is again older, his hair longer and darker. He is working in the field. He goes out hunting, he fashions wood into toys. Too old to play with them himself, but still too young for children of his own. He shows me a satchel filled with toys he's made. He leaves walking down the road, on toward the village. He looks back and smiles with the same gleam in his eyes as when he was younger. When he returns, he again is older. He is surrounded by children that are his, but not. He teaches them how to work in the fields. He shows them how to find food, how to make clothes. How to survive alone and together. He tucks them into bed. He reads to them. He bids them good night. When he awakens, he is an old man, barely able to walk. He looks at me. He smiles. He has the same beautiful gleam. He turns and walks toward the tree line. He stops again, turns to me. He waves. He bows as if to say thank you and disappears into the trees. I wake from my slumber, still dark outside. I feel as though I have lived an entire lifetime. I am exhausted, feel peaceful. I lay back and drift into sleep once again. This time, she is a young girl, almost into her womanhood. She has dark, wild hair and beautiful ocean-colored eyes. She is dressed in a fine gown. She dances as if with another. She smiles and laughs with her whole self. She turns and is suddenly in her wedding clothes. She dances more happily, jovial. She curtsies and stands holding a beautiful wee babe. She nestles, cuddles, and cares for the little one into adulthood. The infant, now an adult, has many beautiful siblings. They all surround the old woman who moments ago was young and vibrant. They circle her bedside and sing softly to her. She looks at me, smiles deeply and nods her head as if to thank me for something. She closes her eyes and slips away. Again, I waken. I feel as though I have lived another whole lifetime. My body craving restful sleep, I force myself to start my day. As I walk into the village with my cart full of wares to sell, I see a crying mother walking alongside a cart. Upon the cart lay the small body of a little fair-haired boy. When I close my eyes, I see the gleam that was once in his eyes. I pass by the butcher's table and hear his wife tell him of the eldest daughter, the one with the dark hair and most blue-green eyes, of the Lord in the land next over who had died in a riding accident. Return home from the village, I lay down, I drift off, wondering what life I will live next. For my dreams are not my own, they are spent living the lives that could have been for those having trouble moving on. Will my dreams ever be my own, or will they forever belong to the lives that could have been?